Hello everybody and welcome back to more Morrowind. Last time that we were here, we have finished the main quest line. The one thing that I have not done before that is um, finish leveling up inside the temple. It was one of the things that I wanted to do, but I couldn't do it because um, the temple hated me ever since I progressed the main quest for far too long. I am so late to my own stream today. And because I live in Stone Age and have deleted majority of my social media, I don't even have a quick way of going, hey, I will be late. I just am late. Where is that slave? Most of the You're time. Not long ago. Um, <laughs> um The last time we were doing temple quests, I needed to eradicate a cult that operates in St. Delon Way Square thing. I don't know where exactly they are. So, um, we're just, we're just gonna see. I feel as though I've just awakened from a dream, a terrible dream of the sixth house. Do you mean, have I been under a spell, a curse, and this was caused by six house cultists? Good grief, what have I done? I hope, but I haven't thanked you. Please forgive me, I have nothing to offer but my thanks. But I will tell everyone that I know how you saved my life. Um, do you? Okay, wait, did I read that correctly? I know how you have. Okay. I thought that you know you you knew what kind of things I did in order to do that, and I was like that didn't make any sense. You foreigner, you must die. <laughs> oh god! You sure you have finished being under Dagothur's control now that I've killed Dagothur? The devil Dagothur is dead and all of his kin, and the blight has gone too, and the skies are blue over red mountains. So, you're just racist. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I am gonna go to the sewers, I think. If I was a cult... If I was the cult, the sewers would probably be where I would be, so... You know, it's as good of a guess as any. Okay, I'm also going to check the storage in case there's any funny business inside the storage. Now, I don't think that we have... That there's definitely no cults in the storage. How may I help? No, nobody's storing any cults. Oh boy, this is a bit dark, but that's a door. And, um... The orcs in the middle of the sewers are suspicious. Well, at least they are to me. Well, so far it is a cult of rats, so... Maybe it should have been so suspicious. I just realized that I positioned my own light in a such a way that I can't see part of my screen. Oh well! I'm gonna go like this now. Oh. I can't wear woods. That does sound... Because cast when used, that really sounds like you're gonna run out of the flying bit of the boots of flying fairly fast and then you're just gonna plummet to the ground. Oh no. Somebody took my personality away. Quick, where is my restore ultimate restore for like one point? I need to get my personality back. People must love me. Excuse me, rat. A little bit later, I'm trying to restore my personality. Yeah, this feels like it's gonna be the correct way, considering that this is the place that features a room with, like, many really deadly people. It got that this feels about right for, for that quest. Where is that rat even going? Okay, well, I got my personality back, so that's all that I wanted. Um, also, 
You know how sometimes in here I talk about my life and shit? I, I don't know if people care. Um, not a lot of people do. I accidentally started some shit on Guild Wars 2 yesterday by, get this, playing the game. What I did not know is that, um, yeah, I can't see my own health bar nor the enemy health bar, so I, I need to stare some somewhere. I can sort of, like, stare at my s stream, but there's a bit of a delay there. Um, or I can, like, bend. Bending works. Yeah, get this. In Guild Wars 2, which is an MMO, there is this thing called World vs. World vs. World, and it is like a PvP mode that is endless. Um, it just it continues every single week. And servers are grouped into tiers, and depending on how your world performs, you can go up a tier or down a tier. And that's it. it it's, just, it's a never-ending cap fest. Like, there are similar games that had that, like, a game in itself. But... With Guild Wars 2, it's not really, like, a game. It's it's just... It's a mode of game. I, I want to use my special glove in order to spawn a whole bunch of things in here. Um, it'll be easier if I just unequip the team for a little bit. Equip this glove. And, um... Do the summoning. And then just re equip Keening. Well, Wraith Guard and Keening. That's, that's a lot better. But anyways, the reset of Guild Wars 2 weeklies happens on Sundays. The reset of World vs. World hearing happens on Fridays. So, that's 7,000 in value. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna vendor it eventually. Um, so, effectively, yesterday, which was Friday, was... The, the last time that I could do, like, things to do with World v. World before it, like, resets. And I was like, I'm gonna do the weeklies to reset on Monday, and I'm gonna do the weeklies to reset on Friday. I'm just gonna... I'm also gonna... I'm gonna take these. I don't really need them, but I may as well have them. Um, and... My world wanted to perform badly so that next week they have an easier matchup. So when they wanted to perform badly, the idea was to not play the game at all. Like, not do anything inside worlds, World vs. World, that game mode in particular. And, um, like, completing dailies includes the need then like weeklies and stuff includes the need to like i don't know like this this is gonna make a lot of sense but but it includes the need to do things but the server on private discords have decided not to do things because then they will not go down the rank and they want to go down the rank for easier matchups next week so you you, you get the problem um Anyway, I, I was told that I'm gonna get harassment this week, and from now on, with everybody spotting my location and, like, spawn camping me in particular, I freaked out, um, reported that, also posted it on the forums, and also posted it on Reddit today, and that discussion's still exploding, so I'm... I, I might have just blacklisted the whole guild that I'm part of from ever participating in World vs. World. Um, but uh, I, I don't know, like, does this make any sense? But it's a game, and I like 
playing the game versus not. And I won't always have the time to play the game. So like sometimes I will only have like very specific times to play the game, which can include Fridays. Um, no matter what the rest of, of of the server like the things about doing on that Friday. It's what is it, mortal? Have oh. you come to be of service to Shagarath? That in and of itself of your madness. This pleases me. Fetch the fork of horror palation from the mad hermit near Alvadenia. Take care with him. He's not the most stable man. Use the fork wisely, mortal. Few have wielded it who have not come away changed. Use the fork to strike a death blow to the giant bull netch that resides near the hermit. Do this. Return the fork of horopalation to me, and Shagarath will reward you well. I'll consider it, statue. Thanks for the speech. It's quite interesting that you're, like, practically the only thing that's voiced in this game. Anyway, no matter if I'm gonna do that or not, I, I definitely do need to, like, leave this place. What I put a journal? All oh, right, V for journal. Forgot. Um, I think my keybind setup would be something that Shiogarath would absolutely love. I'm I'm pretty sure V for journal would be very pleasing to him. <laughs> uh, excuse me, let me just put my blade away. Well, this was a very easy ex extermination quest. Let's just return back to the temple, where, because we're just, like, practically here. I want to check in Aldrune if we actually did complete every single possible quest there. Um, or whether they have more to give to us. I have, like, I have googled the quests and I have the page open. Um, I have a feeling that I might need to find the quest giver that I haven't found the last time I was well. doing temple quests. Where am I? Okay, this feels like it's wrong. Because it probably is wrong. I probably want to be there. Hi! Um... My faith and found for us all, Neverine. Bless your breath and blood. Advancement? Perform more duties for the temple. Okay. So you need me to rank up the diviner. Have you cleansed the cult of... Inipalit? Yeah, they were actually worshipping Shiogarath? Yes, I heard Biardmund is dead and that a dark cult has been cleansed from the shrine of Inipalit. Now, we're into the respect of the ancestors. Please take this ancestral wisdom staff and my gratitude. Can you guys stop giving me staffs? I don't want them. You are now Murta the Disciple. Okay, so we are gonna... We are gonna hit... Up Aldru. Just in case they have some actual like you no know, quest spells but i am very interested in this whole shiogora thing who lives on an island often most north and most points of hamriel so like here What should we talk about? Do I want to go all the way over there? Mm, you know what? I'm gonna check without Rune. Company, friend. And um, welcome. If they have no quests for me, then we we might we might take a little bit of a 
Um, let's see. Side quest? While doing some side quests? How about sharing the wealth? I've lots to show you. Good, good for you. Um, stop, stop being a tour booth and just let me pass. Thank you. Do you need something? No. Yes, the temple. Well, apparently this is not a blight storm. It's just. Your regular sandy day in Morrowind, so it's not dangerous. It's fine. Everything's fine. Duties. A dark cult is practicing the foulest of arts only a few hours from here in the cavern of Hasor. There's a dark cult dwelling in Hasor. Go to Hasor and bring the tribunal's justice to the leader of this cult, Dagoth Falvon. To go to Hasor, go to Balmora, then head east towards Moonmoth Legion Fort. When you under Fjorda Mamaka, follow it all the way south. Okay. I am blessed. So they did have quest for us. Good. Cool. I don't. I don't. I, I still don't need to get to the mystery quest giver. Might be a good idea, methinks. Perhaps. But for now, I can still squeeze more quests out of here. Where would you like to go? Um. Towards Moonmoth Fort? Do you know where Fjord the Mamaka is? No. Well, I suppose I'm only speaking in my head, so that is understandable. There's no mic connection in this old game. You can't hear me babble on to myself. Only I can hear that. You know what? Maybe doing the Shiogorath quest does make absolute sense right now. Just like... Because I'm not particularly very sane. Okay, so that is Moonmoth Legion Ford. You said Fear the Mamaka. The hell is that? Do I go past it? Oh, okay. Past the fort. Around the fort. Away from the fort. Into the Fjordamamaka. Volcanic ravine that runs from the top of the mountain southwest to its... So here, where I currently am, and south is okay, south is that way. Hopefully, I'm not getting confused. I don't think I am, but you never know. Especially when it's my brain that we're talking about. It is so calm when I can't see my own health because I'm... Um, I, I positioned my lamp wrong, so now I just, I literally have no visibility that way. <laughs> you see, sometimes the solution to not getting worried is to just not have eyes. It works very well. Especially for the eyeless guys that grow tentacles out of their eye sockets. But it works wonders for them. I'm looking for an evil cave. Should be somewhere over here. Well, this kind of looks like the end of the ravine. Mm 
No evil cave detected. Oh! That is potentially an evil cave. Hello, potential evil cave? You look like you're the correct evil cave. Can you can you guys descend a little bit? I might need I might want to rest later or so. Um stabbing now and asking questions later is preferable at the moment. Aha! It's raining cliff racers! Hallelujah. Um Vision place! Thank you. Maybe I should have just talked with him multiple times because oh, okay, I haven't cleared it. Never mind. I thought, hey, maybe I have already murdered this cave. But what are you doing? You have no idea. Poor animal, you struggle and fight and understand nothing. You think what you do has meaning. You think you slay me and I'm dead. Is it just dream and waking over and over and appearance after another? Nothing is real. What you do here means nothing. Why do we waste our breath on you? Oh, you are attacking me now. Okay. You, you want me to kill the leader in particular, so I don't... I don't need to snack, we should just snap, like, snack? Um, stab these people to death, but I can if it's fun for me. Which you know what? It is. Let me just... I don't know what I'm gonna do if I ever actually get an intelligence shield, because then I won't be able to just... Heal myself like this? So the question remains, is intelligence shield even worth it? Um, I thought I might have accidentally switched spells to recall and that would be awful because then I just... Hit it sometimes. I... Locum okay, I have literally not explain explored this cave. This is so quiet though, like I don't know what's wrong with it. When you kill multiple of them at once, they just start sounding like a cow. I can't explain it. <laughs> Silly tentacle cows. Did you guys hide loot in this room anywhere? Because it has some high points, so I'm feeling very suspicious. I don't think they did. That looks really low down. I don't want to go there yet. Sometimes they can't remember that they hate me. So they will just be like running past until I start stabbing them. And then they kind of stop running past. Probably because I started stabbing them. You know what? Let's just... Let's drop into the hole. I'll just leave a hole unexplored. Oh, Brian. Well, let me just shield myself. And by shielding myself, I mean using my shield to heal myself. Guys, I am not entirely sure how smart it is to just charge me. a lot of whispery things in here. I definitely feel OP at the moment. It's quite satisfying. I will stop feeling OP eventually. Considering that the DLC area is kind of understood that um, 
by the time you're gonna get to them, you're gonna be like this. So, they just balanced accordingly. <laughs> or even worse, considering how much people exploited this game and how OP they got. Hopefully, we can just wave our dagger through. Because, I mean, this doesn't even, like, consume magic or anything. I just get to shake my arms all about. Huh. I can't do music. Ancient horrors! Anyone home? I rang your bell dingling. Uh, are you are you the cave's owner or did I miss them by any chance? Ooh, my free 2000. I love that one. <laughs> they had a fat loot. I'll take the gold. Everything else the chest can keep. We, we gotta... We gotta leave something to the less fortunate adventurers that will come after me. They're just... Little adventuring bobbies, you know? They, they need the stuff. I don't wanna touch any lessons of Vivek. The last time I read them, they were weird. Okay, so I don't know who was, like, controlling the coat, but I, I will take myself some snack, thank you. Uh, but everybody's here is kind of dead, so... There's nobody controlling the coat anymore. I can probably combine meat with meat for ultimate meat potions and then just sell them. I'll probably do that. It's like, hey, do you want to hurt everything about yourself by just eating stupid amounts of meat? Uh, remind me not to save. Welcome, the day is yours. What should we talk about? We're, we're gonna just hit up a boon and be like, Hi, I've done your thing. But I don't know if I actually did my thing, hence why no saving until we get there and we talk to the quest giver. How about sharing the wealth? I don't want to share any wealth, I just want to squeeze past. One thing that I don't miss from Morrowind, when I move on to other games, is NPCs that for some reason got positioned directly on the doorway. Um, it's not that bad when it's like, wide doorways, but... The ones in Mage's Guild, they love like standing in very, very narrow doorways. And I am being very polite because I kind of don't try to squeeze through. I kind of just run into them, which honestly is a lot less polite. And they work like a wall. You have slain Dagoth Povon and cleansed the dark cult from Hathor. As these cultists sometimes spread blight diseases, perhaps you can make use of these scrolls and potions. I am kind of forever immune, don't worry about me. There is... Have no more duties for you. Speak with Uvu Laren in Ghostgate. Or Endrin Lethen Vivek. <laughs> oh, there's a guy I named Uvu. To be at your service, Outlander. Should we go and speak with Uvu? I feel like we should go and speak with Uvu. However, Ghost Game is, like, not a very, very nice place. It is quite close to here. Okay, okay. But how about... We hit up Shiogora first. Oh, boy. Um, somebody has really hit me in my strength. This restore, like, one point has been such a savior throughout all of my runs. 
I am just gonna continue using it. Eventually I'll just... No restoration from... Spamming a spell. That's very useless in every other way except for like restoring a singular point. But it works, you see? It's, it's climbing back up. And I'm nearly strong again. Hey, I am strong again! Woo! Okay. Hi! I need to go as far in as possible in here right now. Let me just check my map. Margan, where is who? Nieces. Ah, that is cool. Well, please take me to cool. Thank you. Why walk when you can ride? Because I'm just done walking right now. Okay, my sword can still do quite a bit of stabbies, so I don't need to do anything there. Um. I'm gonna start casting water walking and just casually be strolling up. I don't know if it's inside out in the air or like north of it. But I do remember that Shiogara was like, go in that particular direction, get an artifact, kill giant hangy thingy. Hangy thingy. I'm back to me. We'll do. Easy enough. I start thinking really intelligent things while walking in here. I'm like, what's my magic pet? I could do with a rest. Maybe I should just rest here and then I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, those are just some pearls. I thought it might have been somebody's corpse. I was like, while we're doing idols, we could also visit the um, crab merchant. And then I was like, wait a minute, I'm in the completely wrong spot. Never mind. I just confused water for the same water absolutely everywhere. Oh, right, right, right. There's another thing that's kind of exciting that's happening today. Well, outside of the fact that I might have blacklisted my guild from ever playing World Through World again. Um, I hope that I did not do that. That would absolutely suck balls. Um, I'm gonna be raiding! I don't know how. Just after stream, I'll have like an hour to prepare. My plan of action so far is to ask my guild which videos I should watch. Like, yeah. Um, the thing is... My guild's casual, and they told me to sign up, even though I was like, well, I'm not running a guild that you guys told that everybody should be running, and that's why I didn't sign up. And they were like, oh, it's fine, just, just sign up, just sign, just sign up, it's gonna be okay. So just like, just like, go with us, just come. I was like, okay. So, yeah. Right, we are in approximately the right place. <laughs> Approximately the right place doesn't mean that it is the right place. Like, I don't know if he lives up there. That is a giant net, though, and it is hanging around in close proximity, which makes me think that I might be correct. I don't know if I am correct, but I might be. What did you cast on me? Nothing of importance. How do I have a speed of 120? How am I such a speedy boy? That doesn't cost enough for me to care about it. I like how at this point I'm just looking at artifacts and I'm like, price. Question is, how much do you cost? I need to open a door. 
have an 80 point door opening thing. Why did you do nothing important? Like, they think you damaged me a little bit. Let me just cast my shield. I love the whole relic system so much more in this game than I do in... in Oblivion and Skyrim, because the relics recharge themselves, and that's really cool. I am staring at their health bar, don't mind me. It's just in a very awkward position for me at the moment. Stabbing does not use magic! Though, having said that, that I like the relic system a lot, like, more here, I like the magic system! Well, I like the diversity of spells that is available in this, like, game in Morrowind. But I like the magic region in Oblivion and Skyrim. It makes, like, having a magic person a lot more viable. Because, like, could I run outside and rest? Of course I could, but... Um... Okay, that is... That... This is bad. Um, do I have any restore health potions? Yes, I do. It's time to swallow them whole. Because I won't have enough time to even switch to my... Yeah, see? Bad. Very bad. The same thing, but without dying this time. That is the exit. It's not where we want to go. He's still draining it at, like, stupid speed. Let me just vampirize him on two skeletons. <laughs> oh, that was the skeleton wizard. Okay. Wasn't my fatigue that I was worrying about. I remember having one of these. I don't remember if I needed it for a quest or anything. I'm gonna... I'm gonna steal your ring. It's worth a decent amount of money. You can, you can keep your staff. Whoa. Oh cool, more grand soul gems. I'll put them to good use, perhaps. No funny artifacts, though, which makes me think that I'm missing something. The heck is a bitter cup? Do you wish to drink from the bitter cup or to pick it up? Drinking from the cup will improve your best attributes and lower your worst. I'm okay. You know what? I threw a save, let's drink and see if we can go past a hundred. Hmm. This is very hard to gauge with all of the items that I have that are fortifying intelligence. Let me just...
The house fortifying. Oh, okay, you're fortifying my sleep. No, I um, I, I definitely shouldn't drink it. Like my best attribute is a hundred. I can't go past that. It is very pointless for me to drink it. Lives on an island off the northernmost points of Tamriel. I think they told me to walk past here, but instead I decided to drop by. I don't know why I've done that. Anyways, this place is now nice and dead. Most north and most point would be there, excluding the DLC island. So let's let's just go. You're just gonna get stabbed, buddy. Okay, so netches are nothing special. This is just a place that has a lot of netches. I thought this was the right place because of the netch, but no. I was gonna serve the temple and then I got distracted by Shiogora. Isn't it the story of everybody's life? Well, time to go to the northernmost point. I am certain that it has to be like here. Before going to Ghostgate, do remember do remind me to actually repair. I feel so speedy. Thank you, Giant Blade. You're my best friend. Mind you, I can't wear gloves because of you, but you're still pretty cool. There we go. I don't think that there is a point that's more north than this. But I'm seeing no... no... Natchez. Specifically, no giant ones either, which is very sus. There is a hut in here. So, we are gonna look into it, but I'm like, Natch? They said nearby. So I just assume that it is on the same island. And so I'm looking for it in advance. But that is a netch. Don't know if it counts as a giant one, but it's definitely there. Well, time to stab you. Your turn to talk. Hours to listen. Ah, you are the big head. Do you have Shiogorat's pokey stick anywhere? Ah, I found it. So you have come. I see you serve the master. He is good. Oh, yes. Good to me. You have come seeking. Tell me what you will find. Giant bull netch. Grandpa netch. Lovely fish. Floating, floating. He has no eyes, but he sees you. He comes to visit, brings me cake. Take to share. Enough for all. Tip your hat. He knows you're there. Straight out of my door, you will find him. Straight through my door into the other places. Um, fork of horripilation. The fork of horripilation? It sings to me. Oh, yes. It sings like the rocks sing. Songs of weeping. Songs of leaping. Do you weep, stranger? You come to take it. Will it take you? 
Then will you weep? Weep like the rocks? It is her. Take it. Take it if you will. Take it if you won't. Singing. Ringing. Shigora? Lovely master. He never sings. He brings no cake. Only visions he thinks to see. Tells me things I cannot hear. Loud they are. Loud, loud, loud. Whisper, master, whisper. New followers. Thank you for following. And the funny bit is that no matter who it is that you're ever gonna that you're ever gonna ask, Soul's time? A terrible place I've heard. <laughs> There's a boat from Cool if you have any reason to go. It is my favorite thing and it will never stop being entertaining. Shiogora told me to murder him. I must recover the artifact. I mustn't I don't need to slay him, so you are gonna live. Now I need to find the giant netch and fork him. That sounds a lot worse than it is. Um Which of the stabber is that that's that's the forky for okay the game literally told me to deal the last blow with something that can only deal like one damage so um i don't know if it's like, what is it counted as short blade what am i wielding short blade okay this might be better than i thought it was gonna be um Considering that I have a lot of levels in short blade, I just need to find the netch again. Is it you? On an island east of here. East, that way. The moment I equip the fork, I will lose my magicka, which will be pretty stupid. Is it that dead? Because that does look pretty big, but that might also be a mushroom. It's hard to tell from here. Now mind you, this is definitely not a temple quest, in case you were wondering. I don't know why you would ever think that this is a temple quest, but... Is that it? Is that the grandpa netch? There are quite a lot of normal netch around here, so I'm... Ah, giant bull netch. This one. I only need to leave, get the last hit of the fork, so... Uh... How about we go... And stand on a mushroom over here? Can you not hit the netch with anything that is not... Um... It might be a special netch, you can only hit him with a fork. I can't talk with him. Let 
but let's just switch to cleaning again. For bigger hits. Now let's switch back to the fork. I, I'm just trying to stare at the hitbox right here. Don't don't mind me. Hey, we did it! I used the Ford of Horripilation to kill the giant bull net. Shiogorath is testing me clearly. I have no doubt he is enjoying this greatly. I must now return to Shiogorath with the fork. <laughs> okay, I may as well skin it. Let's do keening. And while doing keening, we may as well stand around the silent. Because this is pretty safe. Oh, time to hit up Shiogora. Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. You two are like twins, except you two are voice twins and speak at the same time. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. I need one Elsimi intervention, please. Get around so fast these days. I need one brain amulet back, please. Ah, brain. Yeah, I think I'm wearing everything that buffs my 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 brain power. Don't think I have any more. Which is a shame. I could I could always use more brain. To be fair, we're so upset with Chiogora telling us to kill something with a fork, but the heck is south too, I, I don't trust it. Um, But you only need to hit the last hit with a fork, so it's kind of like we sliced and diced with a knife and then we forked the fella. Go down! Down! Then into the sewers. Hopefully they haven't respawned in there. I mean, there's some rats. There's always rats. I'm more worried about the people that tend to be in the inside. Um, I might have screwed up. There we go. Somebody should, like, seriously de-rat this place. I might have went into the wrong kennel works. If there's dead rats and dead people, this is promising. Might mean that it is the place. Hello! I see you have completed my little errand. Well done. Perhaps you've gotten a taste of madness as well? Do not believe madness to be a curse, mortal. For some, it is the greatest of blessings. A bitter mercy, perhaps, but mercy nonetheless. Give me the fork of horripilation. I believe I have something more suitable for your needs. Go now. Remember what you have seen. Thanks, blind god. What did you give me? Outside of, like, the spear of bitter mercy, what does it do? Interesting. I don't particularly need it, but past when used to summon a storm atronach. 
on you so that would mean every single time when you strike that thing which is gonna produce a storm atronach until you run out of charges i guess welcome friend the day welcome. is your present the day what should we talk about what should we talk um, about nothing i i'm gonna go to balmora for first of all my mighty barrel to drop off the, the spear because it's quite heavy but um secondly to repair You can live here, spear. I did not realize that I was carrying an orcish curtis, and I don't know why I'm doing that. God damn it! You can live here, spear, in your very own barrel. It's getting very full in here. But it is my special items of keeping, so... I want to visit the armor and I want to repair. And now, well, there is a better place to like vendor to. I may as well just give it to you. Because I don't really want to be carrying this around. Actually, while I'm here, I may as well just make the potions out of meat in my pockets. Those weigh a lot as well. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. And then I think uh, we should go to Aldrune for quick access to Ghost Gate. Which is where our next quests take place. So. Ultimate. Carpus made chunks. Big meat chunks. Oh, okay, you don't drain personality, that's interesting. Anything else in here that drains personality in particular? Oh, more meat chunks. Nothing drains personality, for real? A lot of drain agilities, we may as well use them up. I'm using potions entirely wrong because people will just like do whatever potions in order to level up in order to do not whatever potions and then there's just me going let's make the worst potions possible just for the activity of making potions I guess. Will this work? No. There's apparently drain fatigue and drain personality on this. There's a lot of drains on porpoise chunks. Ah. Health, magical, willpower, agility. A lot of agilities. Agility. Agility. I can't believe I just used up a diamond for that, but... I'm rich. Who cares? I can put diamonds in my potions. Why you specifically get less agile from drinking diamonds and pearls? You still have two drain magicas. This is like match the puzzle game. Except it's it's not a puzzle, you just match two ingredients. I must say I find you most interesting right Warm now. Day Please go in. New friend. Warm day to you too. Would you like to drain some agilities? And fatigues. I don't know who you're gonna sell this to because it's absolutely bad, but you can has. I may as well have a 24 hour nap while I'm here in order to sell you my last two bottles. 
Share your thoughts, friend. Oh, I enjoy the greeted company. friend. Welcome. There we go. We're very clean now. I am still carrying things that I don't particularly need. But none of them are super heavy, so it's fine. Aldrune, please! We're going off the ghost gate to hunt some go Well, no hunting ghosts, really, to get some temple quests. At the very least, I know where ghost How gate about is. about sharing the wealth? I've lots to show you. Um, that's really cool. Let me out, please. You are the bane of my existence. I'm not even joking. You are so clogged that I am... Oh, thank God. I was considering going to Go Balmora and then just I'm taking listening. a ride back here. Go skate that way. Yep, definitely did fix my keening. Good, I did not imagine doing that. I mean, when you're dealing with Chiogorath, anything is possible. You might just suddenly imagine fixing a keening. I find it funny that I can, like, make bouncy noises as they run. Like, really fast. Bounce, 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 bounce. Like a big ball. Of ballness. Ghost Gate is through... Stupid ruins, I don't like them. Don't mind me, guys, just running past. Don't think that any of you can match 120 speed. Probably going faster than some horses. Oh, look at me go! Definitely need a remake of Morrowind just for this. Imagine this animation, but with better graphics. Wouldn't that be amazing? I don't want them to ever change it. Like, if you lose the animations, you lose half the charm. This is very cool. Okay, I'll stab you. If you insist. Thank you. You too? All of you? One by one? Really? We're that into it. Uh-huh. Okay. Fair enough. Run, 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 run. Ghost gate, here I come. Well, I can see the ghost fence. I think that way will be the gate. I need the temple. And be like, sup guys! Heard you could use the help from the mighty Neverine. Tower of Dusk. Tower of Dawn. Dusk sounds more temply, I don't know why. I might be wrong. Aha! Temple? Temple! Oh, he's so impressed. May I you Outlander? You Outlander? You can't both be named Nivil and Drothen. One of you is standing too close to the other one. Move a little, please. What do you want of me, what Outlander? What do you want of me, Outlander? Why are both of you the same person? Yeah, 
You can only barter. Okay, you're you're just you're blessing me. Just nice and all. But you're not the right person. You're what do you want? So many stuttering that? people in here. More stuttering people. Walk with virtue, Paulene. Okay, so quest giver for Ghost Gate can't be inside here. That's Ghost Gate. This goes down. That's the lower level. What's in the lower level? Walk with virtue, Outlander. Enchanting. Beds. Praise Vivek. I want to know what's behind that door now. Please, go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. Must be important if they locked it at a hundred. May I help you, Outlander? Do you keep a secret priest anywhere? If you told me, that would be very helpful. Would I assume that it's in the temple? Oh, <laughs> Finally, I could click on you. Thank God. Uh, what brings you to the temple, disciple? Have you been laxing your duties? Duties? The outcast Ashlander Asar Asantos Hansar has fallen ill. The temple does not proselyte proselytize, but we do good works. Uh, Asantos Hansar is an ill Ashlander in the outcast Ashlander camp of Ahinabhal, which is just south of Ghost Gate. Find and cure him. You may need to calm him, for outcast Ashlanders are often aggressive towards strangers. South of Ghost Gate? That's north. That's south. Is it inside? I'm just gonna... I have a glove. I think I still have a glove that does call me. No, I might have binned it. Oh dear. Do I have the spell for it? Yeah, with... Okay, well, we have calm humanoid, it will be fine. I thought it only had 23% chance of succeeding, but no, no. It will work. South of Ghost Gate. Is it there? Because this is a tiny camp. Is there something you need? You don't look aggressive. Leave me, I am diseased, I don't need your help. I have droops, I can barely move and I have no strength. Yes, but I am an outcast. The wise women will not cure me. May I try to cure you? Have you the potion or will you cure me with a spell? Offer you this potion. What potion? You're mocking me. Um. Do I have any potion uh, spells on me? I have a 
a scroll for cure blight disease. And also a scroll for summoning flame matronach. Probably should not use that one. Just wanna. You should really hate me by this point. Do I have any. cure disease that is not a cast like this? I suppose it's not blight disease? I suppose it's regular disease? Make it quick, Outlander. Let's just check. Okay, well, I had a cure blight disease potion, so that should have really given it away. Um... Give me a second, I'll try to do some shopping. I could use a spell that does regular disease curing. Do you have a potion of cure disease or a scroll of cure disease? On target. Do have a lot of junk, but nothing that I actually need. Please go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. to restore common disease and if I meet the person that will let me to spell craft I could craft the thing walk with virtue that outlander. does a not on sell I help you outlander but on target my restoration doesn't absolutely suck balls anymore it is actually kind of usable. Let's resist common disease. What if I buy a singular of normal pure common disease? That way we can go outside and just like see if that dude has a common disease. Before I just stab a bird right in front of me. Done. Okay, I'm diseased. I have droops. Offer you, you this potion. Okay, it was a common disease. Thank you. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Yes, thank you, Martha. Thank you for healing me. It cost 19 gold and it was like right over there, my dude. It's two steps. You could have done this. I believe in you. Yes, Outlander, what may I do for you? 
Were you able to cure Asanta Sansar? Yeah. So Asanta Sansar has been cured. Good work, Martha. Take these potions in case you were infected as well. You could have just given me those in advance. More duties. I need someone to bring the hermit Senda Sathis food and drink. Take this food and drink to Senda Sathis. He is a hermit who lives on Shuran Island between Shiogorad and Wardenfell. Take a boat to Dagon Fell and then go towards Rothran. Shuran Island is just west of Rothran. I will mark the stronghold on your map. Rothran, Dagon Fell. What? Where am I going? West of the stronghold on Rothran, so... That's Rothran, that's west. Okay, um... I, I, I live on an island for the most part. Well, I live inside their mages guild, but it counts. Like, I have never stopped being in Savrith Mora after I finished the Lvani quests. So this is highly convenient. Yes. You know, they should no longer know me as the moon and star. They should know me as the keening holder now that I think about it. I never wear the moon and star ring. But I am always carrying this very shiny hunk of metal. I love it. It is absolutely my favorite. Hop, 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 hop. Big hop. We want to be moving towards Dagon Fell. Um. So Delmora is an acceptable location. We just we want to be going that way. In order to get to that island. Ah, Dagon fell. Very direct. Thank you. I may as well like wait until daytime. Resting may be illegal, but waiting, standing around until you have eyes is not. Head on. You know, there is a ratio in D&D that is um, called having, like, uh, the eyes that can, like, see in darkness. I, f I forget what it's called. But if there was a singular race with that as a ratio... And friggin' Morrowind. I think I would have taken them, like, right there and then. Like, I, I would have been like, you are my dream race. We're, let's go. I don't even, I don't even care if I have to play a rat man. I, I would, I would still go for it. Just because seeing in Morrowind is such a big problem. <laughs> Please ignore me running past. There are some people, they're probably not... Okay, that is not a person. That is very distinctively not a person. Well, at least we can definitely hit them at this point. I'll take the void uh, Ow? Who is this? Oh, you thought you could take me? Oh, that's cute. There we go, another level up just for me. I will put two in willpower, why not? Luck, plus one. I am so statistically gifted by this point. It feels very 
very satisfying. I don't remember the last time when I played in Skyrim or Oblivion and I played a character that was actually like close to maxing out stats. It just feels like you never get that far. So this game is definitely a lot more satisfying because of it. Well, this is an island east of Rothran, so I'm assuming it's here. Silly crab. Come down. Come down. Come on, Birdo, you can do it. You can do it! Bird! Do the thing, bird! Yay, bird! Okay. We go at this way. Okay, maybe not like this. But what is a little bit of Elder Scrolls if not a chance to try and climb mountains that should have never been climbed? I think I've been here before. I think I even saw the person before. Are you it? Excuse me, but you're the Nerverine. Well, yes, I am definitely the Nerverine and the big hero. <laughs> you don't need to talk to important folk like me. It's just like, accept food and drink. You're here to deliver my food and drink? He's so surprised. Like, the big li living legend just like descends from the heavens above and is like, here's your McDonald's. I'm your Uber Eats now. Why my eggs again? I should be thankful that the temple supports an old her hermit like me. A uh, tribunal temple is the native religion of civilized Morrowind. They worship three god kings. I'm Alexia, Sata, Sil, and Vivek, who are known together as the tribunal. We usually just call it the temple. I was speaking to the temple. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? It's a shame that I can't use teleport to temple from the from Aldrun, I mean. Um, what should we talk about? Mainly because there is actually a temple in Aldrun, so it will not place me in Ghost Gate. And I need to be in Ghost Gate. There, that was the right button. Took me a while to find it. Skip! 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 I love my elbow in here. Stab, 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 stab! My stabber is still very repaired. I'm keeping an eye on it because I have broken a stabbers before. It wasn't fun. You're like in the middle of combat and then suddenly your weapon breaks and then you can't use it and you're like, ugh. Okay, that is the direction of Ghost Gate. I have not gone insane yet. Even though I have done the quest for Shiogorat, so you know. It's, it's fine to question it. To question my sanity. But I have not gone insane yet. They just wanna... Join the field of cliff racers. Look at this. Uh, this is just... On my repeated journeys to Ghost Gate and back. Which I'm currently only doing the second time around. It's just that this place is really overpopulated with cliff racers. 
that being said, if they had edible meat, I could have delivered that hermit some cliff racer meat. I don't mind. I feel like a hundred million of them a day. Thankfully, by this point, they're very easy to kill. You just kind of wave your weapon in vague direction of them and they die. Ah, the days of missing are so in the past. Now we just go, stab. So satisfying to having found the right hand-eye coordination. Need the temple. You flatter me with what your attention, do you want of me, Outlander? Yeah, I delivered his food and drink. You delivered the food and drink? Good! Okay, more duties. Many sacred relics of the temple have been lost to the sixth house. I want you to recover a relic that I believe is in Lost Kagurin. I do not know where Lost Kagurin is. One of our valiant ordinators, the feral Salmon, wore the hair shirt. wore the hair shirt of Saint Aralor. He was searching for lost Kagurin, but is now lost himself. He is presumed dead, but if you can't find him alive or recover the air shirt of Saint Aralor, the temple would be grateful. That does not help. Um... What? How big is that? Was somewhere near, somewhere north of the northern boundary of Ghost Fence. It was closer to Margan than Ghost Gate. Okay. Let me stretch. Um, somewhere north of the northern boundary of Ghost Gate. Was closer to Margan than Ghost okay, Ghost Fence. Where is Margan? There is Margan. North and boundary. Greetings. I am at your service. Do I just... Do I just get out and follow Ghost Fence? Um... I thought about just... Going to Morgan? There isn't a particular need though. I'm just gonna switch on flying. And just... Fly through this. Like just, just follow this around. Or is peening? I have more flying things to stab. North of the most northern point of ghost fence. I am going north here, like north is up, so yeah, and then closer to Margan in Ghost Gate. The 
just nicely depopulating all the cliff racers as I go along. Haven't found the most northern point yet, so... All I need to do is to follow this giant fence. So nice and calm in here by this point. What am I wearing for rings? Only the smart ring, okay. If I find any more of the tentacle people, I should just like trap their souls and make myself another smart ring. For double the smarts. <laughs> That way, I might just break 400 magicka. I just- I'm gonna s check this. Okay, that's just the ancestral tomb. This is not the most northern point yet. And no wonder it's closer to Margan. The fence goes on for forever. Ah, let's not undress. Wait, that's why I had orcish armor in the inventory. It was my armor. Never mind. I don't need it. I think I was only wearing it to train armor anyway. Because heavy armor, medium armor, uh, my, part of my, you know, minor skills. Might want to find something a bit better than that, though. I'm a stib. Stib, 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 stib. This would be the most northern point. That's feminal, though. Actually, maybe this counts a tiny bit as north? I thought it was more like west, but no. It still count as north. I don't think that they want me to be inside the ghost gate. So currently I am following its outer parameters. Like, I think this wouldn't have counted as inside of it. I mean, I am slowly moving towards Margan, which is north. Look at that cultist sitting on there. A tall plateau. I should probably be flying a bit closer to the ground because it's getting dangerous to a point where I might fall. Oh, look, there we go. That's the falling. And that's the landing. Okay. Time to continue. Is there even such a thing as the most northern post of point of this gate?
Because this is straight up north now. Maybe I should have gone from Morgan. I'm following such vague directions. Just want to make sure that that's not it. Because it is a ruin, it is inside Ghost Fence. I'm close to Margan. Nope. That sounds like a sneeze. It's very on par. For all of these. Has to be the most northern point. From there on on, that doesn't really go north, it goes crooked. This is very close to Margando. Um, let me just climb down here. Okay, stabbing time! so aggressive especially considering that they were guarding only 25 gold I don't know why that was worth their life but I accept I'll take your stuff we're like literally at Morgan now assume that they told me closer to Morgan than Ghost Fence because it's that way? There's so many cliff racers. This is still a tiny... no. This is no longer north. So I feel like I've flown too far. Feels still a tiny bit north. That is for a gun. But then it turns there and then it no longer feels like it's north at all. I'm assuming it is on this side of the ghost fence. Like, that's no longer north. I don't know what I'm looking for. There isn't like a high building around here. So I'm assuming I am looking for... Um... I don't know... A cave?
They do call it lost, so... Okay, more people that just really want to die. Five gold as a payment for murdering you. Thank you for spending your life with me. Come again. And again, they said north of north, 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 north point. North of the northern boundary of Ghost Cave. Wait, ghost gate or ghost ghost fence? Ghost fence. Right, I don't know what telling me that it's been closer to Margan than ghost fence. Ghost gate is supposed to do because I mean if north of the northernmost boundary, then it's past Margan. And if it's past Morgan, then of course it's gonna be away from Ghostgate. Maybe that's not how they interpret the most northern point of the boundary. Maybe I ran past it. Maybe it's somewhere here. Maybe it's closer to Veminal. I'm already here. I may as well explore. I don't know where else it would be. Like, I have covered all of this by both flight and foot. Those are not a ruins, that's just a hill. And this is the ghost fence. Something is glowing very blue in here. I think that's just where the fence used to be. be Veminal. No, Veminal's there. What is that, then? <laughs> Are you the lost thingy? Are you the one that I've been searching for? At least 
I'm gonna enter very short bladed into the DLC. Rather, shall I say DLCs? my journey where I don't even need fatigue anymore. Um... Might wanna go this way. Are you lost? No! God damn it! I've been here before! Okay, well, this is the tiny bit that I haven't explored. Is that a tree? Definitely can't see at the moment. Okay, I can see a little bit better now. Ah yes, my most favorite cliff racer of them all. A mutated dude. Okay, that is Veminal. It can't be in Veminal. Because its name isn't Veminal. I do need to soul trap you. I have not realized that a soul trap cast by me costs so little. Maybe I don't need the other dagger. So I have my own Ascended Sleeper now, which is cool. I always wanted a personal Ascended Sleeper. Just making this road casually safer, don't mind me. that closer to Morgan than Ghostgate is meaningful. That is Ghostgate. I'm gonna paralyze me. What did you do? absolutely everything. I just want the quick run around. 
Because I am missing something. Okay, time to find it. Where is Kogaroon? Southeast of Urshalaku camp and due east of Polis Marion. Okay, maybe I was... Maybe it was correct that it has nothing to do with ghost vents. I don't understand. Why did they tell me about it then? Huh? That is a very odd location. There is Koga root. God damn it. <laughs> I did not realize that it's on my map. Well, dumb. Okay, dumb, dumb. Time to go there. And stab everybody that's in my way. As always. How did I miss the fact that I knew where Kugaroon was? Kugaroon Kogaroon, god damn it! It's okay, it's still not as bad as yesterday. Well, a couple of days ago when I just misplaced the whole ass soul gem. My stabby stab still holding up. We'll need to refresh it soon. By soon, I mean in like 70% more durability. That is soon enough. I wish I could fly faster. I wish I could more speed. I wish I could even a speedier boy. Love speed, it makes me go fast. I didn't even think to check them out. Don't know why. I just assumed that it would it's because they were like closer to Margan than Ghost Gate. Look at where those two are. No shit that place is closer to Margan. It has nothing to do with Ghost Gate. And it is not really closer to Margand than Ghost Fence, so I can't even say that they mistyped it. Back to air walking!
Nearly there! So I need to find the live dude or his shirt, one or the other. Rune. Okay. It's one of the funny places. It's been a while since I've been in one dose. Last time I entered it was by accident and it didn't end very well. Now yep, Keening's holding up. It's gonna be fine. You Enwa. You Enwa. <laughs> what enemies? Anyway, I can't rest because I'm flying around right now anyway. Have I explored this before? Yes. Yes, I have. Have I found the man with the shirt? Not a man with a shirt. Oh, that wasn't the note left to us with the man with a shirt. That's just a note. Let's go up before we go down. Mr. Funny Smo Snoot is kind of slow, so we can afford to ignore him. The big whispery thing. You can just get stabbed. Any men with funny shirts? No. Is that just outside? Yes. Good to know. Snort, make way. Silly Billy. Okay, next hall. And this is down. That's vault. That's the waterway. Any men with funny shirts anywhere? Just lying as a corpse, perhaps? I wouldn't have glued to the hair shirt. Don't think it would have ever interested me. Ooh! Phaedra! 
Not very dangerous one, but still. Steel Greaves. Hey, athletics up. Dust Adept Helm. Exquisite Robe. No funny corpses, though. Okay, I need to make sure I haven't, like, accidentally taken it. So... Mr. Dude is outside. Okay. Well, at the very least, we don't need to re-explore this place. I've already done it once. And then I forgot. We're looking for dead men. Dead men tell no tales. The only man is a good man that is a dead man. Applies to women too, we should all just die. Um, okay. Need dude corpse. hasn't despawned and I haven't looted him before. It's one of the reasons why I'm so worried about this. Let's look, that corpse was around here for a long time. That's not it. <gasps> Found the corpse! Why would you want to damage and restore? That is medium, but it is very heavy. I kind of feel better without armor, honestly. I'm just gonna continue playing without the armor. Well, we have it. We have the hair shirt. I'm too. <laughs> Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Time to... Well, first of all, rob by Bomor and repair again. Share and your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Good for you. Let me out. You're just as annoying as your friend in Aldrin. You're one of the biggest fights that a person can have in the game. An honor, to be sure. I may as well just recall from the armor for speedrun strats. I 
must say, I find you most interesting right now. Yeah, like, please go ahead and enjoy the company. I want to hit out room. Ghostgate is such an annoying place. There's nothing very ghost gatey about it. It's not gating any ghosts. Something. Let's just drop a save and be prepared to stab some birds again. At least I'm at 120 speed. You're like a very speedy boy. Speedier than that boy. Not when falling off hills, though. What did I do? Oh. It's okay, I have unhinged myself. I am the best door. Anyway. Thank you for your patronage, come again. Bring your friends. Plenty of stabbing where that came from. Ah, it's my cliff racer collection, and you want to join in. Cool. Shame that I can't bring her a live person, but I can't bring her the shirt of a dead one. I hope that that will make her happy. Why did I chose to quest in Ghostgate? This is a horrible place when it comes to questing. I mean, the quest that was like right over there was pretty alright, but... So much foot pedaling! Ah, wall! Wrong way. Temple? Walk with virtue, Outlander. I don't know where to begin. Thank it's such God! An honor to meet you. Uh, yes, that is the air shirt of Saint Aralor. Will you hand it over to the temple? If I say no, that will end well, so not well, so yes. Good, I suppose this means the feral salmon is dead. It is unfortunate, but at least the relic has been returned. Not enough for advancement, goddammit. Another sacred relic which has been lost to the temple is the Cleaver of St. Felms. Mendel Eves carried the Cleaver of St. Felms, the bold. He was a brave and honorable boy and armager, but he fell fighting on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain, in an ash vampire lair known as a Turanolo. Recover the cleaver from the hands of your enemies and return it to the temple. Now that you have killed Dagoth Ur and ended the blight, the skies over Red Mountain clear and blue by day and dark and filled with stars by night. I hate that I can't ask you about Terrainable.
I mean, good for the Citadel for being on the Red Mountain, but this is the weakest instructions that I've gotten so far. Okay. Northeast of Dagoth Ur. Inside the ghost fence. Somewhere here. And it is a Dwemer thingy, so I should be able to see it, hopefully. I've had problems with being able to see things before. Okay. Suppose the smartest thing to do would be to fly? I would love to rest, but it's a bit too full of enemies. So we're just gonna nicely hoover over here. If I never see another cliff racer, it will be too soon. Even when I can two hit them, they didn't stop being annoying. Look at you swooping in. At least I can say that I've trained my short blade quite a lot just on these guys. That is definitely not it. Yep. I think that is a drossel. Not what we're looking for. But it is in the right direction. It is heading northeast, so... We just need something like this, but not this one. Yep, that is definitely a drossel. Maybe I could rest on the drossel, but maybe better not. <laughs> Must be feels feeling so weird to just see Neverrain flying everywhere, hitting things. That is the best that I could sum it up. That is Dagother. That is north, that is northeast. Approximately like this way.
so need to continue playing Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know why flying around mountainsides trying to look for a dwarven ruin called a drossel. Not a drossel. Friggin' whatever it was reminded me of it. But it is what it is. I'm pretty sure this is it. Like, this is northeast. It is correct. Therefore, it must be here. Yeah, it is here. Still not on solid ground. There's still enemies around. I love it that he kind of got stuck. No, that wasn't the right thing. This just was another dead person in here. Really confusing when you find multiple dead people and the people in the place that you're looking for artifacts in. The library is so average, man. Outside of several tomes of vampires of... Waterfell. Ooh, my journal has been updated! Um, handwritten manuscripts found the spolius excerpts. Outnumbered and isolated, I yielded to my foe. The creature dressed like a gentleman and I hoped for honorable treatment. Instead I found myself a feast for a blood-drinking monster. Shamed by my corruption and despairing of my own welfare, I passively acquiesced in my own gradual integration into the affairs of Clan Aunde. I made no human my prey, only beasts, and kept myself apart from the other clankin. Nonetheless, I abandoned hope and lived like a beast. Drawn by intimations of my former life, I visited my former post at Bal-Ur, hoping perhaps to atone in some for my crimes by preying upon its monsters or perishing under their attacks. It is there that by chance I made petition to the Lord of Trouble, Small Akbar, at an altar deep in caverns beneath the pilgrim's shrine. I was surprised and thrilled and terrified when Moloch Baal, or some aspect of agent of that Daedra Lord, offered me a chance to cure myself of vampirism in return for a favor. However, with no hope for my soul or spirit unless I might be cured, I undertook his quest. Rithari sought and obtained the cursed soul gem of mysterious nature from a deep cavern off the northern slopes of Dagoth Ur, delivering it to Moloch Baal's shrine in Balor. I placed the gem within the basin before the altar and instantly experienced a blinding of pain and terror that I cannot express in words, except that it seemed afterward that I had been asleep and dreaming that I was being sliced by thousands of tiny knives from my bowels inside out. I awoke before the altar and gazed in the reflection of my own sword blade off at my own face, no longer a blood-seeking beast and of teeth and empty eyes. Okay, well, we... We know how to cure vampirism now? In case we would ever want to follow that very specifically. Don't know why we would why we would desire that, but I mean I'm not infected. Actually by this point I absolutely cannot be infected. Now that I'm rested, Time to see. Eh. Yeah. Ooh, crab helm. Glass armor, not bad. I'll, I'll take that. It does help, actually, like, being able to see. 
I feel like it's always the same scrambling. Don't really want to read about the wild elves right now. Dead skeleton. Don't really need a wooden staff. Well, that's the bladder. That's still the bladder. Just making sure that I explore everything. Eye of Dugan. I I have thorn why let's let's try up before we try down It feels like up will be it does look like it will be faster I can unlock this and I will when you lock a closet, I just really want to get into it. Can anyone relate? None of that is of interest. And my stats aren't affected, so it was just a mild health effect. Your diamonds and your amulets. Amulets will be exchanged for money. Hello! You haven't seen a guy carrying a sacred cleaver anywhere, have you? I don't want to be reading the teachings of Vivek ever again. Um, the dude wrote some very weird shit. I never could understand it. So, you know, highly not interested. I mean, Vivek is a very weird dude, so I suppose it's only appropriate. Time to go down. Hello. I think we're just gonna get maximum stabbing for DLC. I'm just gonna stab everybody to death. Stabby, stab, stab. Are you? You are! Good! Yeah, that's a cleaver, alright. It's mine now. I will take more glass stuff for selling later. But for now, it's just time well, to re-travel to Ghostgate, which is gonna be very annoying. What should we talk about? You see, I could have been smart. I could have left my mark at Ghostgate. But I do love having my mark at the fast travel point in case I need to fast travel. How about? Go ahead. Which means I'm that listening. we always have this very awkward run. But anyways, I got to slaughter plenty of people, so it was a good day. And later I will reward myself with a ring of smarts. I'm gonna be very intelligent. Max smarts. Thank you.
feel very efficient with this. Even though I know that I'm not. It's just, I feel like we have done a lot of quests today. But unfortunately, they haven't given me a increase in my rank yet. Which is annoying. Because look at me do all of these things. Like, I definitely didn't feel like I've been idling or standing around or... Anything like that. Would it work if I just went through here? Maybe. I think this is the right direction. Yeah! Look at my corpse field! You can join it, if you like. I'm just gonna get this road covered in cliff, cliff racers. This is gonna be full of cliff racers. Because why not? straight in there just run outrun the cliff racer <laughs> got a cleaver delivery very heavy this one welcome friend did you find the cleaver of saint thelm's the bolt yeah talk hello is that truly the cleaver of St. Felm's the Bolt? Will you return it to the care of the temple? No. Yeah, of course I will. Good, I assure you, I will be most careful with it. I am now Murta the Diviner! Whoop whoop! You have found all the temple relics save- I know of save one. Bring me the Crossseer of St. Lothus. The former captain of Boyan Armagers. Varus Bethrimo found fought against the terrible creatures of Dagoth Ur, but was slain while protecting those under his command as they retreated. He carried the Crozier of Saint Lothis, a holy artifact which is now at the hands of our enemies. You may wait until you are stronger to take this last quest, but I ask you to go to the depths of Red Mountain and retrieve the sacred Crozier of Saint Lothis. Where the I feel like I might have been at a place that had it once again. I'm very worried with these quests. Um, they're just like sending me to the right, to the same place. It is inside Dagoth Ur. Um, it's a bit shitty. Because now I'm like, where? Um, Well, we're gonna go and run through there, and hopefully... <coughs> hopefully 
we were not an idiot. It might be easier to, instead of teleporting, just fly there and fly back. Degothur isn't that far from here, but... I am really afraid that I am an idiot. And that I will just... Not... Because... I just think I might have, like, picked it up. And forgot about it. But I... I would have remembered it. I mean, I have so many nice things in barrels. We'll need to find that button to enter the fort again. Um, I think now I know where it is, so it shouldn't be that hard, but... Jesus Christ. It's so not nice! And the, the quest guide goes, oh, you should have waited, you know, to do this with the main quest. But how? I mean, Temple hates you at that point and just tells you to go away. Um, so it doesn't really work. Ah. Didn't mean to misclick. Stiff. 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 It is a lot calmer around here nowadays. I mean, look at it. Stiff. 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 <laughs> Definitely has like more of a nice atmosphere. Very pretty, you know, very calm. Has just a tiny bit of angry people. I feel like because of all the quests that I've done, look at the amount of map that I've uncovered. What is even in there? Okay, sneezy location. I don't know why I have it on my map, but I've never been there. It must it must have been important for something. Even the corpse people are very calm about me. But that might just be because every enemy kind of takes a while to react. Okay, need to find the weird bubble door again. It just kind of looks like a boulder. Ah, bubble door. And you can sink into the lava, my friend. Not the stupid entry crank. It's not open yet. Aha, stupid entry crank. Okay. Quick run. Do you have the... That wasn't what I was looking for, but you are definitely an interesting person. Silver flame axe. I may as well stab him down because he's kind of shooting me right now. Thank you for coming. Come again. Fortify intelligence, lightning shields, 
I do like the gold, though. I will take it. I am great at stabbing and I'm very fast. I feel absolutely invincible. I know that I'm not. But even snoots can't start up to me anymore. Look at those snoots trying so hard. Hello, have you seen any corpses? I have left one here on accident. I need it back. It seems to have had a good staff. Or a spear, or something else that's kind of elongated. Is it you? Blood feed shield. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I feel like I should have started just taking every artifact ever in case... ...somebody else has forgotten something in here. Like, hey, can you just, like, go back there and find that person that has something else on them? That's lower facility. Do I- am I missing anything? Just double check. Inner tower? Oh, hi. Well, I found a personal snoot room. Ah! That's what I was looking for. my favorite money vendor items for later. So I'll just undress you. You're not- you, you don't look like you're using it anyway. Okay, so that's why I missed it. It was in the snoot room. That is fairly expensive, but it's also fairly heavy. I'll take it anyway. Up, oh, snoot room done. Time to like go back. Just leg it as fast as my little legsies can take me. Excuse me? Door? There we go. I don't have anything to gain from hanging around here, so... And it's time to fly back all the way to Ghost Gate. Where is... my wizard staff? Time to float! Ain't got no time for that leg shit. Only uneducated people leg it with their legs. Um, the nice thing about all of this is that apparently they can give those artifacts back to you when you're important enough. But um, not only am I not important enough right now, I don't need any more artifacts. I want to enchant another brain smarts ring, but other than that, I'm cool. If I if I find more smarts thing to just pile on me, that's great. But I don't need anything else. Like, I have a have a cool summoning glove, but um, my confidence is currently so high 
Did I think that I could stab my way through the DLCs? Don't quote me on that. Because that confidence might leave me the moment I enter the DLCs. But I feel like I could potentially stab my way through the DLCs. This is such a glowy sword that I don't want to turn my eyes back on. Did they just like break off an LED light or a glow stick and was like, yeah, this is this is gonna be an artifact for stabbing now because that is so mesmerizing. Especially in these graphics. Like, look at my shield and look how unimpressive that texture is. As you can like see the inside of it, and then look at that stab. It's my favorite stab in the whole wide universe. It is the stabbiest of all stabs. And there's the go ghost gate. Well, at least this one wasn't far. I say after having killed Dagoth Ur and thereafter <laughs> already a while back. Like, hey, the hardest like dungeon in the game, and whoop, time to fall now. It's okay, I'm fine. Let me through, please. Mind you, it's so dark that I can't see, but it makes my stabby stab look even more impressive, so no turning back on the lights, sorry. I think after this point we're gonna be going to Vivec. I think the guy there can give quests to the Diviner, which I am. How wonderful! Welcome, Ooh, Boo! Out. Have you retrieved it? Yes, here it is. Yes, this is the Crozier of Saint Lotus. I can feel his undefeated spirit within. You have brought great honor to the temple, Myrta. More duties? I have no more duties for you. Speak with. Uh, Andrin Lefen in Vivek, or Therrier Rothloth in Molekmar. I'm gonna try the main dude in Vivek. Um, this is why I wanted I to keep it on the teleport. Right now. Please go ahead. With pleasure. Vivek, please. Go ahead. I'm all ears. This one is my favorite because of how easy it is to get to it. Um, CV intervention, please. We're there! <laughs> it's like two button presses. Hello! Duties? I'm old and will soon retire. You're one of the most promising diviners. If you want to replace me as Archcanon of the Temple, you must complete the pilgrimages of the Four Corners. I'm a... I'm one of the most promising diviners, you say. Mm. I feel so praised. Okay. Pilgrimages? The most pious members of the temple make pilgrimages to various sites on Wardenfell, where gods, saints, and heroes have faced tests and trials. For corners? The first corner of House of Trouble is in Malenpath, the Daedric patron of orcs who tests the dumber for weakness. There is a shrine to Malenpath on Shiogorad, southwest of Dagoth, Dagonfell. Head south past the Dwemer ruins and take the second road to the west. Look for the shrine on the north. Take four Daedra hearts to the shrine. And you donate the hearts to the shrine? Recite with X uh, four corners of the House of Troubles. Do I have any Daedra hearts on me? Damn it, no. Does anyone like sell a couple? A warm welcome to you. A warm welcome to you too, comrades. Does so any of you sell Daedric hearts? What was that? I am blessed to be at your service, Outlander. I'm happy for you, but you're standing in the doorway again. That's none of that looked like a heart. I don't know where to begin. It is None of that looked like I heard. Nope. 
Nope. Um... I wanna check. Well, I find myself well, in pleasant I find myself company. In please, share company. Your thoughts. please share your thoughts. Well, while I'm here, I may as well check them too. Nope. Um... I think I might Welcome. have sold some to, to talk, the Balmora skill. I know that I also used to like hold a stash inside my barrels, but I oh, think I emptied please. it a long time ago. May we talk? I don't know where to begin. You seem it like is such very an honor to meet you. Everybody's just singing me praises. Balmora! Did I leave you with any hearts? No. But I have left somebody else with Welcome, some hearts. Friend, the day is yours. I will check what the barrels just in case. While we're here, we may as well run to Caldera and visit Scamp. Unload my inventory. Yes! Welcome. Okay. If you wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. Nope. Um. While I'm here, I may as well enchant another exquisite ring. Put my brains back on. Do you? Nope, you don't have any hearts. Okay. Enchanting. I have an exquisite ring. Grand soul gem. Constant effect. Fortify attribute. Intelligence. Yeah, on self, and who else? The sky. I'll call this one Ring of Smarts, just so that we have two different names and don't confuse them. And I can afford that, so hurrah! Um, where is that ring? Ring of Smarts! Hey, 4.30! How wonderful! Welcome, Outlander. I hate the fact that I used to just keep a stack of Daedra hearts in here because they're very heavy, and then I sold them all. Or rather, I used them all. And I don't think that I ever vendored any Daedra hearts to you. I've entered some soul gems to you. Expensive ones at that. How much would you even want for that? Jesus! Okay, that's not worth it. I was also... I, I also... No person in here? Nope! I never gave you any Daedra cards, god damn. That is so annoying. I don't want to like go out and start farming Daedra. Anyways, may as well drop by Caldera. Empty my inventory. Now that I'm super smart. It's one step above just smarts. You suffer from wounds. I hope that somebody has some Daedra hearts for sale. I don't want to, like, get all the way to the shrine and then be like, Oh, I don't have the thing! Hello, Aeon! I might leave this part for later. For, like, next time that I stream, because... I don't think I'm gonna max out the temple today. 
I got all the way to being a diviner. But now it's time to make four pilgrimages. And I have a feeling that this is going to be a very long quest. But also, I have this um, nagging feeling that I'm going to struggle getting a Daedra heart. Well, rather, four of them. Oh, damn it. Why did they need. Why does there have to be four? I've killed so many Daedra, it's just that not all of them have hearts. I was just thinking about summoning Scamp and then killing it, but I don't think that that will work. I think if I'll kill my own Scamp, it will do nothing. I mean, I may as well try. Sorry, need your heart. Yep, it's just unsummoned. That's not good. Well, now I know. I can't just summon myself a heart. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I'll stab you and then I'll rest. You took a while to stab, buddy. Okay, I'll stab you too. And then I'll rest. What enemies? Who else needs stabbing? Might be you. Someone else? You look half aggressive there. Well, somebody else is very unhappy with me, but I don't know where they are. I feel like my character might have gotten paranoid by this point. Not it? Oh, it! Okay. Yay! I know so well where this camp is by this point. <sighs> Hello! Um... If I bought... That's 22,000 gold, right? This is 28,000. It could... there we go. Now I will just need to forever return the amulet. So... Actually, I didn't give you any Daedra hearts that I... No, I did not. God damn. I'm... To make this more interesting... <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream here for today. We did get to Diviner. Um, I am slightly frustrated. Um, my fault for that. I feel like I've been rushing it a little bit. Because I just want to... That victory feel of getting announced as, like, the top head of the temple. And, um, it's not happening yet. So I'll probably have to do it the next stream and take it slower than I thought that it was gonna be. Uh, I'm just kind of excited to get to the DLC areas because I feel like they might be a challenge again. Um, I feel like I've overleveled the character by this point. But at the same time, I just so hate leaving things unfinished that I really want to finish this. And I did take out the time to like do the Sheogorath quest, but... Okay, that was kind of... It was a voice statue. Come on, that was kind of cool. Um, so... <laughs> I just had to. Well, anyways, thank you for joining me. Have a fun watch of Matrix, Eon. And I'm gonna see you guys the next time. When we're hopefully gonna actually max out the temple. Bye, B.